Hey coders and welcome to our newest season, season 4 of the Google Apps Script course. This new playlist is going to be about the calendar service and this episode is going to be introducing the calendar app. So the calendar app is the parent class for the calendar service. Again, it's used to access the Google Calendar. Some of the common direct uses of it are creating invites, analyzing and modifying existing invites, and managing your Google Calendars. So let's jump into the code and get this thing authenticated so that we can be ready to go. Here we are in the code editor and we've made a new project. We can see we titled it Season 4. And I'm super excited because this season, again, we're going to be talking about all about the calendar service and the calendar app, which has tremendous capabilities for your business, for your workflow, anything like that. So you need to type in calendar app. This is, again, the parent class. And if you hit the period button, if you get a list of methods just like this and some also some enums like this, then you're doing it correctly. If you don't, remember, you need to capitalize the C, capitalize the A. Everything else is lowercase. It is case sensitive. So let's just pick one of these methods. Let's just say create all day event. And then we'll save it and we'll run it just so that we can authenticate our project. All right, so we'll review the permissions. And yes, this is the account that I want to use. Let's go into advanced, just like we've done it before. It says go to season four, unsafe, but it's okay because we wrote it. It's not that unsafe. All right, so calendar app is going to see, edit, share, and permanent delete all of your calendars you can access using Google Calendar. So again, this is a powerful method, but they just, they word it like this just to make sure you know what you're getting into, but we do because we are creating our app, so we are in control. All right, let's hit allow. And yes, it is, there's an error right here just because these aren't defined, but now we have authenticated our application so that it can use the calendar app. Great. So now we can actually start get, jumping into the code a little bit more and learning more about this calendar app. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.